Hey there, Sharon Elsmere. Welcome to day 2148 of What Ship to Know. Today we're talking about, I create a couple of pieces of content every day as my online journey. Uh, this segment's all about documenting my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. Lessons that I've learned, mistakes I've made, horrifying things that I've done, and just different topics that we can use as we grow and build and supersize our businesses in different areas and aspects of the world, as well as I do an annual challenge every year, and this year's annual challenge is the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge, where we do one thing every day to get what we want, and I use my nine-part life framework to break that down. You know, seven of those parts I learned from uh, Jim Rohn and Tony Robbins back in the, the 80s, and I've used that to set my own goals, objectives, and, and to frame things up and make life a little less chaotic. Uh, for the most part, there are years, maybe a decade or so in there where I slipped and didn't use them very well. But for the last, since 2010 for sure, I have used this framework. And in following the pandemic in 2021, I joined a coaching program where I added two more categories to my life framework where I set goals and objectives, etc. So this week we are setting goals for next year. I like to set my goals in December for the following year so that I can start my year off strong. And what the whole reason I share things is so that you can do things and test them out and see if they work for you as well. Uh, I've done things where I haven't set all of my goals prior to the beginning of the new year. And then I feel like I'm always behind the eight ball trying to catch up because, oh, I missed a month or I missed a week in a certain area. So now I make sure that I follow a framework. So we just find a an eight step process on Sunday that we're using to apply to each of the nine different areas and aspects of our life. And today's was our spiritual health our spiritual well-being, our spiritual goals for next year. And I haven't set mine yet, so I can't share them with you. Uh, I will do like everybody else. I will follow the process and narrow it down to three, and then I will just share one in the comments below on that particular group's page. It's actually this page is where I record that video every morning. I started doing my annual challenge to wake up my voice every morning so that I could talk and teach longer training videos, which I did for a few years. Uh, but... Uh, our idiom for today, and now in my Supersize Your Business group, as I was moving a few years ago now, I started sharing an idiom every day and then looking at what did it mean, where did it come from, and how could I use it and apply it to building and growing my businesses. And I thought, well, if I'm going to do that every day, I'm going to share it every day and see if it can help benefit other people as well. And I think it has. Thousands of people have uh, talked and shared comments on, on these videos that are just about was the idiom where did it come from if i can find that because it's really interesting it seems like the newer the idioms are the harder it is to actually nail down where it originated so i find that pretty fascinating as, as part of a study of idioms uh, but today's was to seek the high road which is you know right in line with my personal values and objectives and things i think if we're not doing things to make the world a better place we're wasting our time and energy, right? And there's a lot of ways to make the world a better place. It doesn't mean we have to be a billionaire. It means that we have to do things that positively contribute to our life and the lives of other human beings. I notice I'm not saying animals. Everybody has their different things that they stand for. But uh, I think that we are often forgetting that in those things, we're forgetting about human behavior and human kindness and treating other people the way we want to be treated. And that's, I think that's foundational in making the world a better place. Just my humble opinion, of course. So today, that's what I've got. You can hear uh, the families in the background cheering and chanting. Uh, Daddy got home from a storm trip. He's a, a line man. And so my granddaughters are, are playing and very excited to have Daddy home. Uh, and I'm going to go participate with my family as well. It's December. So in December, we spend a lot of family time and a lot of time getting ready for Christmas and the holidays and the end of the year. And part of my practice is setting goals for next year. All right. Anything I can help you with, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have an awesome day.